The first maintenance task that we're going to learn about is how to remove unnecessary files from your computer. Your computer saves different kinds of files, such as temporary downloads, browser cookies and history, Windows error reports, and many others. To remove these files, Windows has a built-in feature called Disk Cleanup. To use Disk Cleanup, go to Start, All Programs, Accessories, System Tools, and then Disk Cleanup. After the program loads, select the files that you would like to delete. I normally select all of them except the thumbnails and then click OK. Click Delete Files. When the program finishes, it will close automatically. There are third-party applications that give you some cleanup options and also allow you to automate the cleanup process. One of my favorite tools is from wisecleaner.com. Let's take a look at their disk cleanup tool. Their software has lots of extra cleaning options to choose from. Like disk cleanup, their tool has the option to clean up files that are on the computer but it also has the option to clean up programs in the computer such as Internet Explorer, Media Player, WordPad, Windows Defender, and many others. It also cleans up third-party internet browsers such as Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. If you would like to view what files the program is going to delete, click the small arrow to the left of each category. I'm going to select the arrow next to Windows System and deselect the thumbnail cache. My favorite part of this program is the scheduler to the right. This allows you to automate the cleanup process. I'm going to set mine to run monthly on the first day of the month at 12 a.m. To clean the computer manually, click the Start Scan button. When the scan finishes, click Start Cleaning. Then click the Advanced Cleaner tab and repeat the process. Another cool feature to this program is the Slimming System tab. This shows us a lot of different files that can be removed from the computer to free up space. For example, I could remove sample music, pictures, and videos. If I was to remove all of the files that the program recommends, it would free up over a gigabyte in space. The last tab is the Disk Cleanup tab, which we will talk about in an upcoming video. When you're done, you can close the application, and from now on, it will clean up your computer automatically.